welcome to the channel. It's called Keep Low, K double E P slash L O. Keep Low Productions is the company. I am the CEO, Lashin Turner. I'd like you to subscribe, like, and share. Hit the notification bell and thumbs up bell. I appreciate everybody for rocking out with me. And if you'd like to get your Keep Low Production shirts, hit me in the comment section. Serious inquiries only. And thank you for rocking with the channel, which is called Keep Low. I appreciate you all. And I'd like you to enjoy the video. Thank you for rocking with Keep Low. Peace, y'all. What it do? Lashim the God. Keep Low is the company and we back in effect, you feel me? If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. It's called Keep Low, K-E-E-P slash L-O on YouTube. Yo, I do videos about street legends and I do videos to give you nods and help you elevate. But yo, getting into this video today, I want to do this video on Richard Porter or known as Rich Porter from Harlem because Richard Porter is a New York City legend. Like, all right, you know what? Like, a lot of people might downplay Richard Porter because of him being murdered or whatever, but he was achieving a lot of financial success, you know what I mean, at an early stage in his life, and he just developed that, and he just kept going with it. And the reason why I say that he's downplayed a lot is because Alpo Martinez was mad flamboyant. And you know that Alpo, for those of you who don't know, Alpo, Richard Porter, and AZ, they was like a trio. They all used to be together. But what I liked about them, they all operated on different spectrums, even though they was known for being together. AZ did his own shit, got millions of dollars. Rich did his own shit, got millions of dollars. And Alpo did his own shit and got millions of dollars. Even though they was rolling together, but they did their own shit independently as well, you feel me? And um, they was young brothers who was doing it. Like, in that time era, and I don't want to name drop too much, but it was like Guy Fisher and Nicky Barnes and the older people who was known for being big drug kingpins. Like a young nigga 15 being a drug kingpin was like not heard of, but Richard Porter did that shit. You feel me? AC Faison did that shit. And Alpo did it like in his late teens as well. You feel me? So I just wanted to take this time out to just give Rich Porter his props because Rich was a fly dude, you feel me? I'm from New York City, I used to be seeing Rich and he used to be doing the shit. And like, the way he was moving was smooth, you feel me? He was moving smooth like Kashmir up into the time that, you know, he got rocked or whatever, or he got murdered tragically, but um, he was moving mad smooth. And you could say he was moving mad smooth up to the time that his little brother got kidnapped. God bless Donnell Porter. It's unfortunate that he got kidnapped. But like, the drug gang brings a lot of turmoil into your life. Now you're gonna get, you know, money and you're gonna get things out of it, but in the end it don't be worth it. And if you look at it, people live like, at the most probably five years you know what I mean? Not in this day and time, but back then, five years, maybe 10 years, they get a run. But then they get knocked and they get life and they get 25 years and they get 30 years and 20 years and football numbers. And that shit ain't about nothing because if you live five years good in your life and then you get locked in a warehouse and somebody else is telling you when to stand up, when to shower, when to shit, obey me that shit is not worth the trade you feel me just in my opinion y'all get in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think about that yeah but um getting back to what i was saying richard porter you know what i mean look this is 20 something maybe almost 30 years later and people would still talk about him you see i'm making a video right now to you know just keep him going or whatever and just uh you know the things that he stood for and what 
how he was moving in this world, you feel me? And he came to this world and he ended up being a special person. It's just unfortunate that a lot of us got caught up into the drug activity and things of that nature. But I guess that was his destiny, that was his life. But um, Richard Porter was mad fly and like, he was busting out shit first before a lot of motherfuckers. And look, that's Alpo included. Even though Alpo was in flamboyant and he was fly, I'm not taking nothing for him, but Rich did it first. You feel me? Richard Porter did this shit first. He the first one rolling up in sobs and Benzes and BMs and all that. And look, if you look at the facts, this is no disrespect or no shot at Alpo, but look, Richard Porter was already on and then, um. Alpo went and fucked with him and AZ and got on, but Rich been driving Benzes. He been having hundreds of thousands of dollars, been having fly jewelry. And this is in the 80s and the, the mid 80s and early 90s, you feel me? And he was a young nigga doing it. And look, the way he was controlling things with his plugs too, like he was respecting his plugs and if somebody was hitting him on consignment, I'm not saying his business, but if they was, he was paying them back and keeping up with his shit, you feel me? And he was doing this shit right up until the time that he got killed. And then look, it's so tragic that there's always somebody close to you that fuck you over, you feel me? But um, you know, Richard Porter, he ended up being murdered by Alpo Martinez was, who was one of his associates, and some people would call them friends or brothers, but it's just a tragic situation, any way you put it, that one brother would, you know, have to kill somebody that he was fond of. And I know it happens every day, and don't get me fucked up, but yo, it's just a tragic situation the way certain things turn out, but again, that's just destiny, you feel me? But destiny can be altered by you as well. I don't know, but y'all get in the comments and y'all tell me what y'all think about it. But this video goes out to Richard Porter being a fly dude. My name is Lashim the guard. The channel name is Keep Low. Yo, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And yo, give this video a thumbs up because I'll be giving y'all the real shit, you feel me? And I was one of the people that was there actually witnessing it. You know what I mean? I seen Richard Porter. Now, me and him didn't have interactions. Me and him wasn't friends. But I used to be seeing how the nigga was moving. He was a smooth dude. So, I R.I.P. to Richard Porter and also R.I.P. to Alpo Martinez and R.I.P. to his little brother Donnell. Yo, Keep Low's the channel. If you want to get your Keep Low production shirts and support me, go to um, www.keeploproductions.com and just like the, the page and just check out the shirts and shit. Check out the page and just fuck with me for real. And if you subscribe to the channel, say I subscribed in the comment section. You feel me? This is Lashim the Guard. I wish you all peace and prosperity. Keep lows in your area and fucking stay focused. You heard me? Stay focused.